Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and happy back to school season. Today was my very first day of school, I'm now in my third year of med, and now we're really in the swing of things. And now, once again, I'm using my iPad more than ever. I heard that a lot of you guys as well may have gotten iPads for the back to school season, so I thought it would be a nice accompaniment to my previous iPad video to now talk about some of my favorite apps for students. So for everything from digital note taking to time management to cozy games, here are some of my favorite iPad apps for students. Okay, so we're going to go right ahead and we're going to get started. So I have all of these apps kind of categorized into their function, let's go through them one by one. Starting off with note taking and planning, if I could only download one app in everything that I'm suggesting for back to school, it would definitely have to be Notion. So Notion is basically this all-in-one workspace that combines note taking, task management, and databases. And it's super duper customizable and it allows you to create everything from simple notes to project trackers. So specifically for back to school, I very recently created this free student template and it has everything from ways to organize all of your assessments, ways to organize all of your notes and really I designed it just so that you have a good clean organizational system in place to keep track of everything that you have to do during the school year. So if you're looking for a combination of a to-do list, a way to organize your notes, a way to store all of your meeting notes and your assessments, Notion is really the place for you and I have so many videos made that I'll link somewhere there. So my non-negotiable Notion is definitely an app that you need on your iPad. Okay, so we have Good Notes, and this is a digital note-taking app that's designed for handwritten notes and PDF annotation. So this was probably my most used note-taking app throughout med school because it's really easy to import notes and to annotate the lecture slides as the professor is going through them. I just generally like the pen feel of how it feels to write with Good Notes. And in addition to how it feels when I'm annotating my lecture slides, what I really enjoy is its organizational system. So as you can see, it features some pretty powerful organization tools and it allows you to create things like notebooks and folders and that's how I personally organized all of my classes in med school. It also has a pretty powerful search function that works even with handwritten text. So if you go to the search function here on the left and you search up things like stroke for example, not only will it show you all the lectures titled stroke but any lecture that includes the word stroke or even if I have handwritten notes with the word stroke it's able to recognize that and bring me to that specific note, which is awesome. Okay, continuing on the note-taking apps, let's talk about Notability. <laughs> So I still use Notability throughout med school, but it really was my main note-taking app of choice during undergrad, as we can see over here. So what I really liked about Notability was the pen feel. The pen feel is very important for me when I'm taking notes and also all of the different pens and the different colors that are available. So if we go back to 2020 and take a look at something like my biostats formulas, oh my gosh, these are insane. I just really like how clean and seamless everything looks and it's really easy to take pretty notes with Notability. Look how beautiful these are. Wow, I'm really impressed. My notes do not look like this anymore. So if your undergrad lectures are anything like mine and the lecturer is speaking at the speed of light and they don't offer any video or audio recordings after, the great thing about Notability is that you're able to sync audio recordings with your notes. So this allows you to kind of revisit specific parts of a lecture by tapping on your notes and I can show you what that looks like. So let's say I'm the professor of organic chemistry and so you can click the notes Hi, today we are going to be learning different factors that affect acidity. And then later on when you're reviewing all of your notes and you're thinking, oh, what did that professor say that one time? You do have a recording of the audio that's synced with your notes. Hi. Today we are going to be learning different factors that affect acidity. We have all these cool things like the audio recording and also very fun things like a ruler if you ever need to draw straight lines. And they also have this tape function if you're ever reviewing your notes and you want to quickly hide something and think, oh, what's associated with acidic conditions? Well, this. So it's a very comprehensive solution for note taking and studying. Honestly, I love both equally. I use them for different purposes and it's nice to have both. So I also wanted to give a free option if that is something that you were looking for and I can introduce call a note so call a note is a free note-taking app and it has a whole bunch of different features that really lets it go toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the giants like notability and good notes so here is one of my lipid disorder lectures so as you can see super clean interface it has a bunch of customizable tools and you're able to annotate lectures and take notes like you can in the other note-taking apps the crazy thing about call notes is that I think it's even more customizable than notability and good notes for example if I click this look 
how many pen options and how many colors are available. It's so fun. Truly, you can do so much with this and it feels really nice to write on it as well. There's also a bunch of cool options like adding some stickers. You can also record voice notes. You can translate right in the app. There's also the ruler that you have in Notability. So it's nice, so everything is really well integrated. And a feature that I recently learned and it makes Call a Note really stand out is its collaborative feature. So if we click over here, you'll see that it has real-time collaboration capabilities, meaning that multiple users can work on the same note simultaneously. So let's say that you're attending a pretty difficult lecture, the professor is speaking really fast, you can have multiple of you guys annotating the same note to make sure that you don't miss anything. Or or if you're working on a group project and you want to work on the same app, this is a really cool way to do it. And especially as a free note-taking app, I think this is great. I think more people should definitely use it. And perhaps I will start using it during the school year as well. So those were my favorite note-taking and planning apps. And I love digital note-taking on my iPad. However, there is just something about the tactile feeling of taking notes on paper that I really do miss. And that brings us to today's sponsor, which is Paperlike. So Paperlike is the OG paper feel screen protector that started it all. It lets you take neater notes and draw with more accuracy by bringing the comfort and precision of paper but to your digital workflow. There's so many cool features that makes it special. It has these tiny micro beads that cover the surface of the entire screen protector and it makes the Apple Pencil vibrate in a way that imitates the feedback of writing pencil on paper. And as someone who takes a lot of notes on my iPad, I genuinely feel such a big difference. Having that tactile little bit of resistance from the screen protector really makes my notes so much more neater, so much organized. I love my handwriting so much more. So this back to school season for the digital note takers like you and I, Paperlike has curated the note takers collection, including their iPad screen protector, pencil grips, and their handy dandy cleaning kit. For us very busy students, constantly on the go, constantly taking notes, we can now enjoy that satisfying analog feel for neater handwriting and more control while keeping our iPad spotless. So go ahead and maximize your upgraded iPad's potential with a paper-like screen protector by looking at the link in my bio. Thanks so much to Paperlike for sponsoring this part of the video, and let's get back to it. So moving on to our next category, there's only two apps, but it falls under file management slash reading. So the first app that we're going to talk about is so interesting and I've only very learned about it recently, but it's so helpful and it's called Documents, specifically Documents by Readle. And this is a powerful file manager for iOS. So if I were to describe it, it kind of acts as a central hub for all of your files and it allows you to manage, edit, and share documents from various cloud services. The great thing about this is that not only is it a centralized hub for all of your documents, it also has a built-in document viewer, making it easy to read and annotate PDFs. So for example, if I take a look at my research folder and I have all the documents with my lit reviews, I can open up all of the papers that I'm using to reference for this paper, I can read it without opening up a brand new tab or a new PDF, and I can do things like annotate it, I can do things like add comments, comment, and it'll write it out for me. <laughs> I can add in notes. I want to add this. And you're really just able to organize and edit your PDFs all in one place. You're also able to view images, play media files, all without leaving the app. Everything is all here. And there's also a way to connect it to your computer. If you go to doctransfers.com and you put the verification code, we'll see that now all of the files that are on my iCloud here can connect to my monitors over here. So I don't even have to airdrop files. I can just open it directly over there and save stuff and move it around. It just makes life so much easier. I don't know if I'm explaining this the best, but this app honestly really rocks in terms of file management. And also pretty much in the same vein of kind of editing and annotating, we have something called liquid text. And this is something that I really relied on when I was reading a lot of papers for my research reviews. So liquid text is, I'd say, a pretty innovative document reader and note-taking app. And its unique feature is the ability to pull out excerpts from documents and link them together. And so you can see that it kind of creates this web of interconnected ideas. And what I really like is just how intuitive the app is. Let's say if we wanted to compare something from up here to down here, we could literally pinch it together so we could easily compare it. Like, that's so fun. And for example, if we wanted to pull a specific sentence that we want to remember for later, it's 
it's as easy as copying it and dragging it and we can also connect it to other sentences that we found so I just really like how visual everything is and how easy it is to organize. For all of my pals out there that read a lot of scientific papers you know that it can get super overwhelming trying to condense all the information here so I really like this way to organize all this information in a very clean visual intuitive way. Okay, so that was the more, I would say, hardcore <laughs> apps in terms of back to school. Now we can finally talk about the fun stuff, which I'm more excited about. So let's talk about time management and I have a bunch of really fun apps to show you. Let's look at Pomocat. <laughs> so here we have Pomocat. It's basically a cute cat themed Pomodoro timer app and it uses the Pomodoro technique to help you focus on any tasks in 25 minute intervals. You know, sometimes I'll be working and I start dozing off and I start getting distracted and going on my phone and I look back and look what I see. Look how diligent this cat is working. How can you not be as focused as this little cat? And if you don't like cats and you're boring <laughs> and you want another option, I have a little bit more of a minimalist aesthetic timer for you. So this is called Flip Clock, basically just a minimalist digital clock and timer app. I think its most standout feature is the very satisfying flip animation that kind of mimics those old school flip clocks. So it's really nice just to have in the background if you want to keep track of time. It also has a Pomodoro feature. If we swipe to the left, we're able to just start a focus session and it continues the flip clock motion. So this next app is called Off Screen and it's designed to help reduce screen time and improve focus. As you can see, it basically just tracks in this your iPad usage and provides insights into your digital habits. It also offers a focus mode, kind of like a Pomodoro, if you want to time your focus sessions. Sometimes I really get distracted on my iPad and I like to keep track of it with off screen. And finally, under time management, we have Lola, which is an app for all my lo-fi study lovers out there. So basically, I'd still consider it another Pomodoro timer, but it's more so a music player, and it really just helps you stay focused with your tasks and all of your work. I was doing a focus slash study session. We start with this one, and as you can see in here, it plays the beautiful lo-fi hip-hop. We have a very lovely lo-fi hip-hop girl to accompany us in our work, and we can start our Pomodoro session just like that. How can you not be productive to this? So this next section, I'm going to try and blitz through because it's more so the apps I associate with Med and that's not as generalizable. But starting off with Anki, okay, that one is not Med specific, but great app. It is a powerful spaced repetition flashcard app and it uses a very strong algorithm to optimize your learning by showing you cards just as you're about to forget them. It has great customization options and it's very effective for long-term retention. And that's why it's a favorite, especially amongst Med students, because this field really requires memorization of large amounts of information and we really just blast through these cards. I shouldn't have to tell you guys how much I love Anki, you already know it. Essential Anatomy I talked about in my previous iPad video. Sometimes for anatomy it's really hard for me to visualize things if I don't have a 3D model of it. So the great thing here is that it starts off with a skeleton base. You can add things like muscles and veins and the nervous system and connective tissue and you're able to really zoom into the details and click it and isolate things and it gives also a description of what that is. Okay, MD Calc. now this is very med specific, but it's basically just a medical reference app that provides quick access to things like clinical decision tools and medical calculators, like this is for calculating creatinine clearance or like a well score for a pulmonary embolism. It has over 550 tools and calculators and there's super detailed information about its use, the evidence behind it, and the next steps in patient care. Finally, I have ChatGPT here. I don't know why I call this a med thing. For me, ChatGPT is really the place to go if I I'm asking a very quick question like if I need to remember oh what is a pulmonary embolism or what is a DVT and I want it explained a certain way that's really mostly what I use ChatGPT for. I use it a bunch in my personal life but especially for things like school it's really easy to automate things like study plans, travel tips and it's just you know ChatGPT I don't need to go into this. So we're gonna wrap things up by talking about entertainment and I know that this is all about back to school studying apps but there is no studying and productivity without also some downtime and relaxation in between. So let's go through some of my favorite new games. So starting off with Cats and Soup. 
like the name suggests it's really just a super relaxing game where you manage a group of cats that make soup in the woods and as you unlock each cat they all help in the soup production process oh and now they're back to work look at that this is like the perfect cozy game for when you need a break but you don't want anything too intense or too engaging it has really cute graphics and it has a very simple gameplay so it makes it super duper soothing and relaxing and you can just check on it periodically during the day and that's what makes it the perfect study break app good pizza great pizza oh god i had an addiction to this game on my phone last year and i wanted to re-download it on the ipad because i feel like i would have rather played it here here you're in charge of a pizza shop you have to manage orders customize pizzas and just keep customers happy it is just a fun casual game maybe it's a great way to unwind after a long study session so like the name suggests we really are just out here making pizza I just really like the art style. I find it quite relaxing. And as you progress, you can upgrade your pizzeria, learn new recipes. It also has a story mode with a bunch of really quirky characters and events. And it really adds depth to this pizza making simulation. And finally, a new app that I found is called Tet. And it's this really fun game where you have to prepare a meal for the Vietnamese Lunar New Year dinner. And I just really love the art style of this. It's obviously very hand-drawn. It's so much fun and it's super colorful and you get to do things like cut tofu and wash cabbage and roll spring rolls. And you just get to learn a lot about cooking and Vietnamese food. And it's just, it's so fun and it's such a cute way to share cultural heritage through food and design. So this is a common theme that I want in games as study breaks. I don't want anything too overstimulating. I just want to relax. I just want to relax after a long study session. Oh, I got Oh, there's bugs. Oh, that's so fun. So that was pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this small curated list of apps. This is a combination of apps that I've been using for years versus ones that I found more recently and have been a nice addition to my workflow and also just a little bit of my downtime. So let me know if there are any apps that I'm missing that you want to share in the comments below. As always, thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.